what waste? <laughs> what waste are you seeing? Tell me what waste. Welcome to my channel. It is me, Diana. So I am here and I want to talk about waist training. I have been back on my waist training journey and you know, I just went within and I needed to like focus on myself and pour more into myself so that I can be able to get you guys out content that inspires you and also being able to inspire myself because I go back and I watch some of my old videos that I have and that's what I've been doing just to motivate me, watching myself work out, knowing what I can get my body to and just really focusing on me and pouring into me and not comparing myself to anybody. I've never compared myself to anybody. I always look at myself and see what I've done before in the past and do the things that I've done before to get there. And so that's what I've been doing. I pretty much been doing a transformation on my body. I'm very happy and what it looks like, how it's looking, still working very, very hard. I have made a goal. I had one goal that I wanted to do is I wanted to get my waist back to a size 28. When I got my waist measured, I am going to throw in a clip of what I measured in at. I am going to do it right here. Okay guys, getting this, this is for my journey to 28. I'm trying to get my waist back to 28. Um, into the soap, we're gonna see where I am though now. Twenty-seven and a half. Twenty-seven and a half. And so now that you guys have seen that I'm very very excited but anyway I want to tell you guys about waist training I got on a journey of waist training so many years ago and I was following different people and trying to do some of the things that they did the things that they did worked for them I want to go and get you know this waist trainer that waist trainer you want to get the Kardashians and then you want to get the most expensive waist trainers and these waist trainers can be so expensive but guys it's just you how you pour into you and how focused you are that you can get to your goal it does not take a name for you to get to your goal understand that the waist trainers that you are buying you are purchasing the name and you think that that name is going to get you where you need to go it's not that name it's your name and who you are and who you stand for is going to get you to where you're going like me i am diana it is no other person like Diana. No matter what you get, what type of garment, what clothing brand that you wear, whatever, it's all about you and how focused you are on you. See yourself, see yourself in a smaller size. See yourself better than what you did yesterday. So let's get on to this right here about this waist trainer. I got the waist trainer from when I was a size 54, yes. And I am going to put in another photo right here. Wow where I was before and to where I am though now. And I'm going to attach some other videos to me waist training. This waist trainer was $20. They were $20. They are selling these waist trainers for 20 bucks, 20 bucks. So I said, I'm going to get this. Cause that's what, that was my budget. My, I couldn't go and spend $102 on these different waist trainers, $300. I couldn't afford that. I was going to start from where I was and then try and move my way up. But guess what? I never moved up because this $20 waist trainer was working for me. You see this waist trainer, this just, waist trainer is very small. We all tend to get these waist trainers and they come up very, very high. I'm gonna show you guys what I did. So all of my waist trainers, they are custom to my body. See these right here? They See how slim they are? You usually don't see a waist trainer like this short. My torso is very small. So we get these waist trainers, we always get them and then it's like up on our boobs and pushing up and whatever. I got this waist trainer. Let me move you guys out a little bit more. I got all of my waist trainers have been custom. So I took them to my seamstress, right? So here's the brand that I wear. You can get it on eBay and you can get them on Amazon. It used to be like this right here, cloth right here, but now they have it like this little rubbery side right here. It does not irritate. Took this, had her measure my torso. 
So, because I didn't want it to be when I wear my bra and stuff like that at work, it push up on my boob and that can be kind of like irritating, you know, when you're trying to move around. You want to get a size that's smaller than uh, what you are. Don't get the size that fit. You want to get down to where you're going to go. Get her to measure right here so it does not roll up on my butt and then it will fit comfortably under my boob. I have on underwear. You're going to go to the second row, clip, and you're pushing it. I should have put on a bra so you guys can see this really good so then go to the top right push down clip it in push down clip it in and you just keep going till you get it all the way I have to be looking over my boobs so too push down clip in and it should be not uncomfortable you should still be able to eat drink breathe sit down whatsoever but wear it every day be consistent be consistent with this just like you know you pointed to yourself and then this is the last one of the second row and let me get back to the bottom when you put on your bra you'll be fine here you guys go get these things cut and get them cut to you you're pouring to you so taking this to a seamstress having them to cut it down for $20 or whatever they do they're just cutting and sewing it and also it is bone that's in here so look after you put this on I mean my pants are a little bit bigger though anyway because I've lost weight but all this should be straight so and then you're gonna tell everybody what waste <laughs> what waste are you seeing you know tell me what waste this is 20 bucks i would put these up against any 50 60 70 80 300 waist trainer these do just as good you wear it comfortably if you're going to be spending money spend money on getting it customized to your body some people you know they might have a roll here they might have something there go and get it customized so that it can be comfortable on you. You can wear it when you work out. You can wear it all day. My best thing is like wearing it all day while you're at work and nobody can see anything. What waste? Um, I'm gonna attach to this video other videos from where I started out years and years ago. So this is what race training, what waste? It shouldn't roll up. Get it where it's, you know, cause we get these other ones and then they roll up on your butt. Get it where it fits comfortably. Boom, right here. It should go above your panty line and right up under here so it does not bother your bra. You are training a waist, not the bottom of your damn titties and not the top of your ass. What waist? I have had my seamstress to do me like two more and I do have like the all over ones though too that you can wear. But this is what I'm saying. Take it to your seamstress and they're going to cut it to you. This thing used to be very, very long. And then all she did was she cut it and she just re sewed it. And that's it. And so here you can see right here how she like sewed it. That's it. What to waste. Make sure you guys thumbs up, subscribe, and let me know about other content that you guys want. Fitness, eating, and all that stuff right there. I am very excited to bring you guys this video. This video is not sponsored at all. I just wanted to bring you guys this video and say, what waste.